guys, um, right now, um, uh, it's Thursday, and I'm just gonna jump right into this. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do a gun muzzle flash shot, muzzle flash effect in iMovie and GIMP. Now, I know I've already done this, but I didn't do it in GIMP, and this is way better. So, first, just open up iMovie. Oh, uh, one thing. Actually, I'm need that later. But just open up iMovie. And. Um. So, you're gonna take your footage. That. Of you shooting something. So, um. I'll just take some right now. So, I'll just make a new project. Model. Okay. Okay. Now just mm. nice SD cards in. Sorry, guys. It's done. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a video. Sorry, my room's kind of messy. Okay, done. I didn't hit employee. I'm so dumb. Capture. Okay. So you want some room in there and just Okay. So now I've got the footage. I'm just gonna take this part that of me shooting it. Put it up here. Okay. Now as you can see just me pretending to shoot it. So I'm gonna Go right to right before you start moving the gun. So right here. And oh, first of all, click iMovie preferences and make sure you show advanced tools are is check the double check thing. And just take right there. And right before it, just left click on it and then right click side. And add freeze frame. Now, I really do not like how you can't like, just drag it onto your desktop. So you're gonna have to, have to hit this button to watch it in full screen, and hit Command Shift Three when it comes up, like when it stops. And it should automatically like, be set to four seconds, so you should have enough time. And then just click X, and you can just do delete this little doll. freeze frame. And now you have a skin shot on your desktop, which looks like this, or in, whatever. So you can just shut that, or whatever. And now go to Google. Just type in muzzle flash. And go on images. And then pick a muzzle flash you like, depending on how you want it. If it's a forward flash, you're going to want to want to flash like this. Okay, if it's a sideways flash, you're going to want to flash, like, the flash I'm using somewhere, somewhere, like, this one. I'm using this one. So just left-click it and right-click it. I always get that myself and save image as, and just save it to your desktop. And you can close that, and then you're just going to open up GIMP. And once we get this done, we're going to open up the screenshot we took. So just file, open, um, desktop, screenshot. 
Oh, uh, that's a old one. This is a screenshot. It won't show the picture. It'll just be a little thing. And open. Open. Okay. Okay. So now you've got your picture here. Um. It's not really showing the full thing. I don't know why. It's messed up. It's uh, open this up. All I have is that. I guess that's what I have. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna pause And then you're gonna hit file. Open. Oh, open as layers. Oh, it's not here. Yeah, I put it in. No. And open up your gunshot picture. Your muzzle flash. Just open it up as a layer. And so, just use a move tool and you can move it around. Put it over by your gun. And now, if you don't have this layer box up, you just click um windows res uh, dockable dialogues and hit lays so now you come over here you click on your muzzle flash layer and you click the mode and you set it to screen so now it's kind of see through i really like this cuz it's more realistic and if you my gun's a little bit slanted so what I'm going to do is take this rotate tool. Actually first, um, let's say your gun is kind of pointing like at the camera a little, but not all the way at the camera. Like it's also point kind of like to the left of the camera. Like if there was someone next to the cameraman, it would be pointing at him. We just take scale and select this. And then I want it. I want to move this over. And then just like pull this over, so it kind of looks like it's aiming at the screen more. But I don't want that, so I'm just gonna hit cancel. And then you take the rotate tool and just click on it, and you this box will come up. Um, and just rotate it to. Uh, size and then click rotate and now you've, you've got the picture so you're just gonna save it um I, I like to save stuff as um jpegs just because like just about anything on a program or anything can work with a jpeg and it doesn't really matter, it just, I really, because you can set, just set your quality to 100 and hit save. So now you've got it wherever you saved it, and you can just close this. And so now I've got my new version. That's actually an old version. But, yeah, that's an old version. So, yeah, I've got it. So I'm just going to open up iMovie here. And since I did that thing, it's actually, that spot's actually there. And you're going to want to come over here to this part, the second one, and just trim off just a little bit of the beginning. So, it like, you can see the gun's already a little in motion. And delete that part. So, yeah. And then drag this in there. Now, as you can see, when you move along it, it's like all like moving, and it's just four seconds. So you gotta make sure you have your advanced tool set checked. And click this little button. The that thing the tool button and then hit cropping, cans, burns, and whatever. 
and then just hit fit and hit done. So now, as you can see, it just it doesn't move or anything, but it's too short. I mean, it's too long. So we just take this, we do that clip adjustments, and type in 0 0.1. And done. S and S means seconds. And um, if you're doing a lot of these, you're just gonna wanna like put them all in and then click apply to all skills, skills. Sorry. And then hit done. And so now the video looks like this. Now it's a little bad. Now it's because. I'm gonna want to cut off a little bit in here, and now, sorry. Now it'll look better when you export it, and plus, um, sound is everything. So I have a link in the uh, doobly douche thing dog. Ding dong below and it'll be to a sound um a gunshot sound and once you have it um I have it here on my desktop you just you might have it in your iTunes so you just click this and then um pick iTunes and you can see stuff and so anyways now that I have it all finished except the sound I just put my sound in and I want to have it at the beginning of this part so now I have the sound one second let me try to make you let, let you hear it I'm wearing a headset and I put the mic by the headphone so I'm not sure if you heard that but hopefully you did. And now you've got your gunshot effect. Um, If you have any questions just post them in the comments below. I'll try to answer it as fast as possible. Um, and that's it. Um. I'll have a new vlog up Tuesday, and I'll put a link right here, and um, uh, another tutorial, I'm not sure what the tutorial is going to be on, and on next Friday, um, check out my channel, I have another version of this tutorial, I actually put it, a link right here. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching.